I'm a millennial, but I really do have empathy with the youth of today. Number one, the cost of living is ridiculous. For many youngsters, you can't even get a property and they probably won't be able to get a property until they're 40 and result living with their parents. There are no regarding jobs. There are no jobs. And even the jobs that are offered enough hours given to you so you can have enough money let alone getting paid a decent wage. In university, all the jobs get taken up in a snap, resulting in hardly any jobs available for those who are lucky enough to earn themselves a degree. Any businesses around the UK, let alone the world, are creating down. Rents are expensive. Cost two thousand pounds for a photo. You can't go out because it's actually a lot cheaper to drink at home. You have to pay now for every type of subscription. We've got AI coming into the scene. What jobs are safe? At the end of the day, it really does make you think. What purpose are we going to have for living? And what to live for? We're going to have to find something else. Thinking like, what is the point? With the key question being for all of us, what we're going to do about it? Because we are in control of our actions and how we react to things. To help you out, here are some tips for saving money, especially when you're young. And after this section, I'm going to use some ideas how to make some extra income using social media as well. First tip is to create a budget and track your income and expenses to see where your money is going and then identify areas where you can slightly cut back. Set yourself savings goals. So determine what you're saving for, example, emergency fund, travel, education, and then set specific goals to work towards. You can pay yourself first, so set up automatic transfers to your savings account each month before you spend money on literally anything else. Avoid debt as much as you can, so try and avoid accumulating high interest debt such as a credit card and prioritize paying off any existing debt quickly as possible. But unnecessary expenses, so evaluate your spending habits and eliminate non-essential purchases such as subscriptions, expensive clothes, takeaways, junk food, anything that really does add up and you don't necessarily need. Think of things that you can live without. Eating out can be expensive, so cooking meals at home to save money can really help, especially on food costs. Find affordable entertainment, so look for free or low-cost activities to enjoy in your spare time, such as hiking, going for walks, picnics, visiting local places like museums, just working out, doing some exercise, chilling with your friends in a park. Even playing computer games is a great way to kill some time while talking to people, especially if you're doing it on a live stream. Shop smart by taking advantage of sales, discounts and coupons while making purchases and considering buying generic brands instead of name brands. Use public transportation. So save costs by using public transport, biking, walking, rollerblading, skateboarding, or just no share carpooling with friends or co-workers if you're at work. It'd be a really good idea to also start investing early. So consider investing in a retirement account or other investment vehicles to growth your wealth over time, such as the S&P 500 index fund, for example. The earlier you start, the more time your money has to compound and grow over time. You could also take advantage of facilities to save money. So for example, you have a gym membership, a cheap gym membership. You could use the showers to save more money on your water and heating bills. Now, these are just ideas and I'm not professional. So seek professional advice if needed, if you're unsure about investing or struggling with your costs at the moment. Now, if you want some money making tips so you can make money that involves ledgering on social media. Here's some ideas from you. I've already done a video on this before, so go check it out, especially to make money from TikTok and Instagram. But first idea is to start a blog or a vlog, create a blog or a YouTube channel, 
focusing on a topic you're passionate about, whether it's fashion, travel, cooking, gaming, or any other niche. As your audience grows, you can monetize your content through ads, sponsorships, affiliate marketing, and selling products and services. You can also become an influencer, content creator, and just build a strong presence on platforms like TikTok. And by sharing engaging content and growing your following base, building your tribe, once you have a significant following, brands may contact you and pay you to promote their products and services to your audience. And you've also got things like TikTok Shop. Freelancing and using social media platforms like LinkedIn or X to showcase your skills and connect with potential clients, whether you're a writer, designer, marketer, or programmer. Freelancing allows you to offer your services to businesses or individuals on a project basis. And you've got other platforms like Fiverr and Upwork that can really help you make a portfolio and get an extra income stream with skills that you're good at. Selling digital products. So you could set up an online store on platforms like Shopify or Etsy and promote your products on social media or Gumroad like I use. And wherever you're selling handmade crafts, digital downloads or drop shipping items, social media can really help you reach a wider audience and drive sales. With this, you can offer online courses or coaching. So if you have any expertise in a particular area, such as fitness, personal finance, marketing, content creation, editing, you know, create and sell online courses or offer coaching services or solutions and use social media to promote your courses, share valuable content and attract your ideal clients. Affiliate marketing is also really powerful. So partner up with companies to promote their products and services to your social media followers. You'll earn a commission for every sale or referral made for a unique affiliate link. So choose products and services that align with your audience interests and your interests to maximize your earning potential because people, you know, buy into you and they'll tell if there's an ulterior motive and you're just doing it to get a bit of extra money. You can also create sponsored content. So work with brands to create sponsored posts, videos or stories that promote their products or services. Make sure you disclose any sponsored content transparently to maintain trust with your audience. Okay, transparency is key. And monetize your expertise. So offer consulting services like audits, webinars or workshops based on your expertise and your knowledge and experience. Use social media to showcase your knowledge and attract your ideal clients who are interested in learning from you because people buy into people and how you help implement the information. And just remember to be authentic and provide value to audience whether you're creating content, promoting products or offering service on social media. Then trust engagement with your followers is the key to long-term success and monetizing your social media presence. So if you really resonated with this video and you found the tips and ideas I've provided valuable, please do let me know in the comments, like this video, and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one.